This ought to be interesting. I was I got about four hours of sleep last night. The quick version of the story of Fairway Solitaire is that golfers have always been at war with gophers. And throughout history, all of the, the wrongs and, and the golfers taking over the, the gophers' land and, and all of those things culminate here in this game with one gopher making a stand. He's affectionately known as McDivitt. McDivitt is a schemer in a way. If you don't do well in the game, if you're four or five over par on a particular hole, the gopher will actually come up and taunt you and, and laugh. And it just makes you want to do that much better on the next hole. You think he's bad in the game, you should have seen him during development. He's caused more bugs and caused more headaches than anything else in this game. We talked about doing a golf solitaire game. And ideas bounce around between game designer and artists. I threw a little bit of myself in there, whether it was conscious or not. All the colors and kind of random clutter around my desk that inspired that visual detail in the game. I wrote the, the editor, the card editor for making the layouts, and it was kind of amazing for me to see how something that I made could be used for these 2,000 holes. You think of solitaire and golf, I think maybe it's being very predictable, but the combination and just the random elements make it very unpredictable and very fun to play. Uh, that mix of golf and solitaire and story and humor, what makes it stand out? I think I've had more fun working on this game than any game I've ever worked on.